Hey everyone. Where to get pet insurance? Is pet insurance worth it? The best pet insurance? How to get pet insurance for cats? How to get pet insurance for dogs? How much is pet insurance? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will talk about something very important for pet owners, pet insurance. Pet insurance is an essential investment for every pet owner, as it can help you cover the unexpected medical expenses that come with having a pet. In this video, we're going to show you where to get the best pet insurance, how to get pet insurance for your cat or dog, how much pet insurance costs, and we'll also review some of the top pet insurance providers like Embrace Pet Insurance, Pets Best, and Nationwide. Where to get the best pet insurance? When it comes to finding the best pet insurance, there are many options available. You can start by researching and comparing different pet insurance providers online. Some of the top pet insurance providers include Embrace Pet Insurance, Pets Best, Nationwide, Healthy Paws, and Trupanion. It's important to read reviews and compare prices and coverage options before choosing a provider. How to get pet insurance for your cat or dog? Getting pet insurance for your cat or dog is a simple process. You can either apply for insurance online or by calling the provider's customer service number. During the application process, you must provide your pet's medical history and any pre-existing conditions. The insurance provider will then determine your coverage options based on your pet's medical history. If you have a cat, you can also check out policies from specialized cat insurance providers like Figo, Nationwide, and Pumpkin. How much does pet insurance cost? The cost of pet insurance can vary depending on your coverage options and your pet's medical history. On average, pet insurance can cost anywhere from $20 to $50 per month for a cat and $30 to $60 per month for a dog. Some providers also offer customizable plans, which can allow you to choose the coverage options that best suit your pet's needs and budget. Pets Best, for instance, offers a flexible annual deductible and 70%, 80%, or 90% reimbursement options. Other things to consider when choosing pet insurance. In addition to coverage and cost, there are a few other things to consider when choosing pet insurance. These include, 1. Deductibles. Some pet insurance plans have deductibles, which means you'll need to pay a certain amount out of pocket before your coverage kicks in. 2. Coverage limits. Some pet insurance plans have coverage limits, which means there's a maximum amount that the insurance provider will pay out for any given condition. 3. Waiting periods. Some pet insurance plans have waiting periods, which means you'll need to wait a certain amount of time before your coverage kicks in. Review of Pet Insurance Providers Now, let's take a closer look at some of the top pet insurance providers. One Embrace Pet Insurance offers comprehensive coverage for dogs and cats with optional wellness rewards. Embrace also offers personalized policies and 24-7 customer support. Two Pets Best offers customizable plans with flexible deductibles and reimbursement levels. Pets Best also has no age restrictions on enrollment and covers hereditary conditions. 3. Nationwide offers comprehensive plans for dogs, cats, birds, and exotic pets. Nationwide also covers wellness and preventive care, as well as alternative therapies. For Healthy Paws offers simple, straightforward plans with unlimited lifetime coverage and no annual or per incident limits. Healthy Paws also donates a portion of its proceeds to help homeless pets. 5. Trupanion offers comprehensive coverage with no payout limits, as well as a deductible that only needs to be met once per condition. Overall, there are many great options when it comes to pet insurance, and it's important to choose the one that's right for you and your furry friend. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of where to get the best pet insurance how to get it for your cat or dog, how much it costs, and what to consider when choosing a provider. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. Thanks for watching.